of the Spider Queen. Hey everyone, today we get to play on Tomb of the Spider Queen. Looks like our team gets first pick, first ban, and I am the team captain. That sucks. I don't like being the team captain ever. Um, looking to get a Kelthuzad, so let's go ahead and ban a new wreck. Let's go cancel here. So we're banning Nubrak as that would be very detrimental to both Kel'Thuzad and Asmodan. Next we will ban out, um, yeah I think Diablo I think will be our next ban. Banning out Kel'Thas. And let's go Diablo. Alright. So, let's see what we're dealing with. We got ourselves an assassin main player at level 109. We got a healer main with main healer. Makes sense. Uh, we got ourselves a tank main player level 49. So it begins. Uh, um, looks like we picked up Decker Kane. We have a specialist main. And then we have myself. Let's see here. Um, sustained damage looks like is what we are going to have to try to be. Not my best role, but I can definitely play it. Um, we can go now. Let's just let wait. Let's see what they pick up. Kel'Thuzad etc. Not terrible. Bring the mega death. Um, Malthael for the soul lane against Sonya. Then it'll just be myself. As the sustain damage dealer. Um What are my options here? Graymane, Cassia. Yeah. Uh, much ban out a healer that we don't want. We can ban out I think that's fine. Uh, with the rework Anna, you kind of want to ban her out a little bit. Right. So back to my options. We got Greymane. Uh, not Hanzo. I don't. I don't have a good Hanzo. Um, I can go with Thrall. I can go Zuljin. I stand ready. Okay. Interesting. Still waiting on another tank. Um, I hear the call. All right, I can guess. Yeah, we can go Rainer. There's nothing wrong with Rainer. I'm a terrible Rainer though, let's, like, we all know this, let's be honest. There's nothing wrong with him, but I'm bad at him. Um... And I guess I can be in the soul lane against Sonya. Uh, I could have gone with Falstide as well. So, Stitches, Vala, Brightwing, Orphea, Sonya. Um, they got several interrupts for the mosh pit. But silver five, silver three. He's probably winning too much 
Uh, we saw him. He's at level 109. So he's probably winning too much. Um, so they're overvaluing him. Uh, on gold 3. So this is actually going to end up pretty poorly at the beginning. Um, until uh, Kel'Thuzad gets his stacks. And if he can hit combos, then he will be able to blow up uh, the back line. And I'm just going to be wailing in on the front line, just trying to do as much damage as possible. Uh, Kel'Thuzad has slows. Uh, Deckard has slows. So we can go with Ace in the hole here. And late game, we should be able to win with uh, Nazebo. So I'll be heebly rotating between the two lanes. That means I will stick right here. Good kill so far. You ain't feeling a thing. And we got ourselves 105 damage. Okay. Just ping that they do need to rotate. That they can't just be sitting in one lane. As the Nizibo did say, he was going to be rotating between lanes. We can go ahead and turn this in. Let's heal up as well. Well, looks like they did call for a switch. Let's just back away as we do have two in the bottom lane. Um... Although Vala is almost out of mana, she can still do a lot of auto attacks. There we go. We got our healing back up. <laughs> this should be good. One in the chamber. There we go. Hopefully. Um. Okay, fight or flight. A swan can make me one of those. This is yeah. My tomb hero, not yours. Well done by the enemy team. Uh, please. Uh, no. Oh, that's fine. Let's make it count. Uh, there. Right. No. Oh, that's one skin toxic. Let's just leave it. Right They're doing the best that they can. We're doing the best that we can. Um, we are a full level down now. Oh, no, not a full level. Three quarters of a level. There we go. Pushed her away. If I was a little bit better at um, running and gunning, we could have... Probably gotten the kill there. <laughs> this should be good. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Um. We're gonna chill out here. There you go. He turned in his twenty-two. Got something special for you. All right. Let's go down here. So, I knew that she was there because she wasn't showing in the lane for a while. So, I kind of figured uh, that she was trying to grab the camp. Uh, the fact that she was in such low health definitely is a bonus for us. Alright, I'm just going to back away. And turn in my 15. Not that it really matters, as I believe the enemy team is about to turn in theirs. Okay. We still need another... There we go. Um, I was going to say we still need another little bit. But we were able to go ahead and take down this wall. Alright, and I think I might be dead here. Yep. Uh, didn't realize they were going to be rotating down towards me. Kelsazaw was able to get a kill. Um, so we were able to clean up two lanes, or we should be able to clean up two lanes. Uh, we're probably going to be losing this bottom lane. Um, do I think I'll be able to get some good value with Rainer's Raiders or with the Hyperion? There we go. Quickly clean that up. And we got level 10. So we are going to go with the Raider. Just to add more pressure. Okay. More pressure onto the back line if we can. We're just going to bring him back. Keep that. Uh. So the reason why you want to push top here is because of the boss lane. Let's back up. Okay. Um, so yeah, the reason why you want to push top is because this is where the boss lane is. If you can get this down and take a boss, you can get a keep. Uh, bottom lane, it is where this mercenary camp is. However, unlikely that we'll get much with that. We really want to be taking at least one fort here. If we can. Um... Yeah. Where is he going? Okay. Well, my Rainer's Raider is dead. Uh, we got 52. We need three more for a turn in. Time to man up. There we go. We got five. All right. Uh, 
Um, he almost got the kill there. Uh, looks like we're doing well so far. Uh, we do have the late game on top of all this. Alright, let's get our R back. Uh, who's being caught? There we go, a little bit of burst damage. Uh, we are now gonna go with... Um, Rallying Cry. There. Took the one. Um... See if we can grab a second. All day long. <laughs> Fill on full of daylight. Okay. Uh, I do like what the team's doing going top. So now that we have the three forts, we definitely have the XP advantage or the passive XP advantage, not necessarily the XP advantage. That was um, an interesting move by the Bright Wing. Okay. There we go. Let's go. Um, we can probably take. Looks like the friend of the team doesn't want to. If we kill someone, the game is over. That's, um. It's easier said than done. There we go. I'll just take that. Okay. little bit of pressure in the middle lane um, we are now gonna go with um let's knock this fool out all day long okay we are gonna go give me more Okay. We are unstoppable. Okay. My condolences. Call him back. There, another keep down. Here. Um. Oh. Well, the Nazebo just don't care. I guess he does have his. There we go. Is it dead? Not quite. Oh, ouch. Um, he's out of mana, so let's just go ahead and back away. Uh, by he, I mean Deckard. Deckard's out of mana. Uh, I think we've gotten to a point where it's so, um, like we're so far ahead, like these waves aren't going to be able to do much. Time to man up. 
Alright. Uh, we can give up this if we really wanted to. Top and middle aren't going to be doing anything. Grab this. Okay. Um, we're gonna switch over here. Grab this healing. There. Quickly did all that we needed to do there. Um Sounds like And let it down, thank you. Um let's go and see if this guy no. They're not there. We can go ahead and throw in our 11. Just so that if we die, it's not a bigger deal than it has to be. You know, they aren't there. Um. Got three. Okay. Alright, let's heal up. Um, and we're gonna empower basic attacks. Grab this. While this is happening, our uh, catapults have been adding pressure to the um, core. We got, what is it, 22% on it? Cool. Um, they're posturing to go up top, which, uh, to the boss, which they really can't. Like, even if they take it, what's well, the worst that's going to happen? Um, let's go 58% now on core. Um, what's the Nazebo stacks are at? 174, so he almost has enough. He's one more and then we've got it. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to heal up. Grab this for the mana. And I believe that's going to be GG. Okay. All right. Well, it was a little rough at the beginning. Um, but it ended up okay. Kelthazad got his stacks, got his kills. He did really well.
I wish that I was on the board. I thought I would be. Oh, I, I, I probably should have chosen an actual solo laner. How much fun? I had lots of fun. Hey, gold two if we win the next one, obviously. Personal rank adjustment. Yeah. Uh, stats, we had 5 kills, 9 assists, and 3 deaths. We did 80,523 in siege damage, 51,507 in hero damage behind Nazebo and the Kel'Thuzad. 10,907 in XP contribution. Looks like the Vala beat us in XP contribution uh, by almost 1,000. Uh, yeah, I think that actually went pretty well. Now the Deckard, uh, the Deckard Kane's uh, healing potions, the greater healing potions, definitely helped out a lot. We went with Ace in the Hole, Fight or Flight, Unstable Compound, Rainer's Raiders, which I need to micro a lot better. Uh, Rally and Cry, Give Me More, Execute, uh, so increase base attack by 20%. Base attack damage is increased by 25% against targets below 50%. Um, and we were able to get a couple of uh, really good combos off of the Kelzazad chains. But let me know what you guys think and what we could have done a little bit better. And have a great day.